Okay, hello uh, everyone, this is Stephen and I'm going to share a word of encouragement from a, a book called The Apocalypse of Elijah, which is classified as an uh, apocryphal book, a book that wasn't included in the Holy Bible, but which I feel is uh, it's a book I feel that's got a lot of encouragement in it. and. Uh, St. Paul said his wives not prophesied, prophesied and through all things, all fast to that which is good. So with that in mind, I'll share this encouragement to you all, hoping it will be a blessing. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, say to this people, Why do you pass sin upon sin and provoke the Lord God who made you to wrath? Love not the world, nor the things in the world. For the boastfulness of the world is of the devil and its destruction. Remember that the Lord of glory, who hath made all things, has taken pity on you to deliver us from the slavery of this present age. For time and time again the devil has desired to stop the sun from shining on the earth and to stop the earth from bearing its fruit and wanted to devour men like the fire that runs amongst the stubble, wanting to devour them like water. That is why the God of glory took pity on us. He sent his Son into the world to deliver us from our slavery. When he came to us, he told neither angel nor archangel nor any power, but he assumed the form of a man when he came to us to save us. For this reason you will be his sons since he is your father. Remember he has prepared for you thrones and crowns in heaven, saying, All who obey me shall receive thrones and crowns from what is mine, says the Lord. For I will write my name upon their forehead and seal their right hand. They shall neither hunger nor shall they thirst, nor shall the son of lawless, lawlessness have his way with them, nor shall thrones into them, but they shall walk with the angels to my city. But sinners shall be put to shame, they shall not pass beyond the thrones, but the thrones of death will hold them back and rule over them, because the angels do not acknowledge them and they have become strangers to God's dwelling places. Listen, wise men of the earth, and be on your guard against the deceivers, of whom there will be many at the end of time. For they will have doctrines that are not of God. They will reject the law of God. Men who have made their belly their God, saying fasting has no substance, and God did not create it. They make themselves strangers to the covenant of God and rob themselves of the glorious promises. Such men are never established in firm faith. So do not let them lead you astray. Remember that the Lord created fasting when he made the heavens for men's profit because of the passions and desires.